We all aspire to be rich, not only in terms of material wealth, but also in terms of spiritual and emotional abundance. But how many of us truly understand the secret to attaining this state of super richness? Hey there, Gabby here. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. I always love reading and responding to you. Make sure to watch till the end, as we'll dive into the teachings of Neville Goddard, whose teachings provide a roadmap to unlocking our true potential and achieving a state of super richness. Neville Goddard was a spiritual teacher and philosopher who profoundly believed in the power of the human imagination. He asserted that your imagination holds the key to your reality, and by harnessing its power, you can manifest anything you desire into your life. Man is all imagination and God is man, and exists in us and we in him. The eternal body of man is the imagination, and that is Christ himself. According to Goddard, your imagination is not just a faculty for picturing things. It is a creative force, the very essence of Christ within you, capable of manifesting your desires into reality. This concept echoes the biblical verse, with God all things are possible. However, Goddard interprets it as, all things are possible to him who believes, indicating that the power of God resides within each individual, in their ability to imagine and believe. Unlike traditional prayer, where one pleads to a higher power for their desires, Goddard proposed a different approach. He suggested that one should assume that their prayers have already been answered. This involves visualizing oneself in a state where the desired outcome is already a reality and feeling the emotions associated with it. One of Goddard's key teachings was the concept of the state akin to sleep. This is a state of deep relaxation, akin to self-hypnosis, where your conscious mind is at rest allowing your subconscious to take over. In this state, your imagination becomes vivid and your visualizations become almost real, enhancing the power of your manifestations. Assuming in Goddard's teachings is not merely pretending. It is believing with conviction that your desired state is your current reality. It is feeling it in your bones, living in it, and acting as if it is already true. This act of assuming is what brings your visualizations to life. If you can remember it, you are no longer in it. Instead, you are becoming aware of your new state as a present objective fact. And if you will remain faithful to your new awareness, it will crystallize. You will find yourself moving across a series of events which will lead you to the fulfillment of your desired state. Persistence is a crucial element in Goddard's teachings. He emphasized that assuming your desired state and living in it must be a persistent act. This means you must not waver in your faith or belief, even when your external reality seems to contradict your internal state. Goddard often spoke about the mirror principle, a concept suggesting that our outer world is a direct reflection of our inner state. If our inner state is one of abundance and happiness, our outer reality will mirror this. One of Goddard's unique teachings is the art of revision. He proposed that at the end of the day, one should revise any events that were not to their liking and imagine them as they wished they had happened. This act of revision, when done consistently, can change the course of future events. Belief, according to Goddard, is not hoping that something will happen. It is knowing that it has already happened. It is the certainty that your desired state is your current reality. This strong belief is what triggers the manifestation process. Goddard stressed the importance of taking responsibility for our own lives. He asserted that we are the creators of our reality, and therefore we must own up to whatever we experience in our life. If we do not like our current reality, it is up to us to change it. The ultimate test of Goddard's teachings is to apply them in real life. You must put your faith into action and live as if your desired state is your current reality. This is the test that proves the truth of Goddard's teachings. Do you not realize that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless, of course, you fail to meet the test. Embarking on this journey of applying Goddard's teachings is not about attaining material riches alone. It is about achieving a state of super richness, where you experience abundance in all aspects of your life, be it health, wealth, happiness, or love. It is about unlocking your true potential and living the life of your dreams. Remember, Goddard's teachings are not a quick fix. They require consistency, faith, and persistence. But once you master them, you will discover that you have the power to create your own reality. And that is the ultimate super richness. All things are possible to him who believes. That's it for today. I really hope you liked this video, and if you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more content and share it with anyone who needs a positive lift in their life. Thanks again, and until next time, keep dreaming, keep visualizing, and keep manifesting.